who's got here? What happened? What happened? You've oh, been waiting here. Yes. Uh, my brother, uh, my brother, uh, no vex, no vex. Please sit down, sit down. Do you know I was knocked out for the video yesterday? Serious? Completely. I just woke up 11 years. What happened? What happened? You know what happened? You're asking me. Yeah. <laughs> You gave me what I took. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Good news. Good news. Also. Good news? Good news. Then go ahead. Call it great news if you want. Go so, ahead. Oh, come on. Just like that. Tell me. Over a bottle of champagne, man, in the club, man. Don't stop. 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 Don't Okay, I will give it to you, Raw. The contract of 500 million naira has been sealed, signed, and delivered. Bobby, you know there are certain things you don't joke with. Eh? Hmm. What did I use it? 500 million? What? Look, I, I was overwhelmed. Let me say it again. On my honor, the contract of 500 million naira. Has been sealed, signed, and delivered. What? <laughs> this is great news, man. But I said it. Make up money. <laughs> Make up money, man. <laughs> no, but, man. I was overwhelmed. Jeez, this calls for a big. You were talking about this calls for a bigger celebration. I told you. Yes. I told you that's correct. <laughs> what do we do? Suggest. Dinner in my house. Deal. Hmm? Deal. Dinner. Let me come away. Please do. <gasps> Five hundred million. Ah. Oh, your wife is calling me. My wife. Yeah. Okay, pick the call. Let's see what she has to say. <clears throat> Hello, sweetie. What? An emergency in my house? Now, now you listen to me. Listen up, listen up. Pull yourself together, okay? Don't do anything stupid. I will be there soon, okay? Okay? I'll be there soon. Your wife is calling me. Wait a minute, what's going on here? It must be serious. Hello, pretty. Yes, yes, yes. Calm down, calm down, okay? You guys should take charge. Eh? We'll soon be on our way. Okay. It's an emergency now. Honey! Sweetheart! Sweetheart!
Monino! Ah. <laughs> no. mm. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, so, where's my brother? <laughs> He's still upstairs sleeping. What? What have you done to my brother? <laughs> no, 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 seriously, it's 7 a.m. So, what can he possibly be doing on the bed? I don't know. Maybe he had too much wine last night. Which wine? <laughs> he didn't take as much as I did? Eh? Hey! Anyway, I will just go upstairs and drag him down here. Okay. Hey, but before you go upstairs, please, mm. can I make breakfast for you? No, 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 no. I, I actually have to run to the office. I'm late. Oh, mm. okay. And please, please, uh, can you please help me drop Junior off on your way? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Then. Thank you so much. <laughs> took me to buy ice cream and chocolate. Oh, I can see that. Thank you, Daddy Obina, for buying Baby Junior his favorite chocolate and ice cream. <laughs> Must you report to me? <laughs> <laughs> I guess he called you. Yes, he did. He said he had a meeting to attend. Oh. Okay. So why don't you sit down? Let me get something. No, 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 no. The food is already done. Let me just dish. I am. Hello, sweetie. How are you? You? Home? Are you not going to pick Junior from school? No, no, listen, please, listen. No, 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 no. Only just listen. I'm going into a very important meeting, Sean. I can't. Okay, it's alright. Alright. I'll, uh, Call my brother Obin and, uh, and ask him to help me pick him up. Sorry. Bye.
on my knees. Bless me. Grant my heart desires. Bless me with the fruit of the womb. Around you. I just want to carry my own child. I just want to feel the, the joy of motherhood. I want to cry. I cry of a baby in this house. That's not too much to ask of God. But we have Junior and he calls you mom. No. I know, but I want my own flesh and blood. I want to go into the labor room. I want to feel the pain. It's okay. It's okay. Everything will be fine, okay? Stop crying, okay? It's been five years. Five years. It's okay. From the series of tests carried out on your wife, I discovered that she has fibroid, which requires urgent surgery. Oh my God. Fibroid? Yeah. But isn't she too young for fibroid? No, no. Fibroid has nothing to do with age. Well, all we need to do is to get on with the surgery to avoid further damages. We've come a long way, and I expect you to trust me when I tell you that she'll be alright after the surgery. Mm, I believe you. I believe you. Hey girl, fibroid is not cancer. It's curable, okay? At least be grateful to God for that. Thank God you're here. Yes, she too. was all, all, almost being real today. In the theater. Sweetheart, you'll be fine, okay? We are praying for you. Huh? Whatever happens, I love you, okay? Excuse me. 
After the surgery, my wife became a shadow of herself. Mm. I've been thinking of how to make her happy. And then I came to the conclusion that if Junior should come and stay with us from time to time, that might just make her to overcome her problems. I think you have a point there. <clears throat> you really do. We can actually make arrangements for Junior to come over to your place, you know, especially during the weekends, you know, spend time with her, uh, huh? you know, and then uh, why don't we keep our fingers crossed, you know, and then continue praying, you know, for you and your wife, you know. That would be yeah. wonderful. Well, she has struck this solid bond with Junior. Mm, I noticed, I noticed. <laughs> you know, sometimes this is come come very natural. Oh, you women know. and children. Yeah. No! Are you okay? No! Oh my god. Wait. One, two, three, go! <laughs> I'm too old. Okay. Don't touch me. No! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm too old for this game. You have to look for something I can do. Hi, okay. hi. Hi. You look so happy today. I am. It's such a bundle of joy. Junior. He's taught me all the games I never knew. How mm -hmm. do you know? How are you, boy? I'm good. That's good. That's good. Let me not spoil your phone, okay? Mm. Okay. Lunch will be ready for us, okay? No, 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 no. I'm preparing lunch for both of you. Yay! That is going to prepare lunch for us. No, don't touch me. Don't. How do you feel living without Junior? Boring, <laughs> but very interesting. How do you mean? <laughs> well, I miss my son, no doubt. But knowing he's in safe hands makes me feel like a newly wedded wife. It feels so good having you all to myself. It must be a bad mother. Mm, at least you won't accuse me of being a bad one. Mm. <laughs> okay. Now that Gina is not here. <laughs> mm. 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 What do we say to that? Mm? I'll be wrong again. Mm.
He's such a bunch of joy. <laughs> and he's a bunch of headache as well. Oh, come on, no, he's not. He's a lovable child. Like, he's so, he's so adorable, especially when he's sleeping. He looks like an angel. <laughs> he's so blessed to have him. Wow. Just like you will own yours very soon. So. Oh, amen, amen. Could you make this part fuller, please? So, how's my husband? Well, he's okay. Now, let me assure you, you see, that young man will be spending more time with you henceforth. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Yay, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, please, I am very welcome to that idea because he kept me so entertained. <laughs> but trust me, I wasn't bored. <laughs> and trust me, I am happy because you relieved me of his weekend homework. No, okay. he is a great kid. I, and I, I like his company. I'm so happy. <laughs> no Trust problem. Me, that is not no me problem. He's my son, after all. <laughs> I've learned to do homework from there. <laughs> so I'm begging you, please. You just have to help me this last time. That contract is my life. You know, I have spent so much just to get that contract. Honestly, Tunde, I would have loved to help. You know I always help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is really beyond me right now. Because I really don't know what it, it is that those two brothers do. They have really got strong hold on my boss. I have to advise you that you wait for the next contract. But if I must be honest with you, I must say that they have already awarded the next five contracts to come. What? Why? I mean, how? Well, like I said earlier on, the brothers have stronghold on my boss. So, I should advise that you work out things with them. Since one of them is a friend, they could sublet part of the contract to you. This is not fair. You don't have spent so much just to get this contract. the last time you came to my office to me. My brother, walk. 
work. He's been from one journey after the other. That's nice. More for jeans then. <laughs> I am just fighting so hard just to be like you. <laughs> but go easy. <laughs> Easy, my brother. Well, you will get there. <laughs> uh, it is uh, just uh, dear, dear. <laughs> you get there. Actually, my good friend, I am here in respect of the multi-million naira contract awarded to you by the state government. Who told you? <laughs> Come on, Obina. The news is everywhere. Tunde. Come on. Don't tell me you don't know uh, how many companies that lobbied for that very contract. Well, the news is that you are getting it. That's the good news. Yeah, to go with the glory. Well, um, as I was saying, I would really appreciate if you can um, kind of um, put me in, fix me in, kind of, in your uh, contract. Maybe as a subcontractor or to do supply or anything, my brother, I beg you. It's not possible now. You know, my brother also applied for the same contract. So when he didn't get it, I decided to share every bit of it with him. You know, so the decisions are no longer in my hands only. Any decision I make now, he has to approve because his company is responsible for 50% of the deal. I see. Uh, really? <laughs> well, don't worry. <mind. laughs> it's okay. Hey, come on, sweet. This is not the first time I'll be going abroad. And you've always said goodbye with hugs and kisses. What's the meaning of these tears? I'm just gonna miss you. I'm going to miss you so much. Miss you. Mm -hmm. But as you already know, my brother and his family will not okay. let you miss my absence hey, one day. Hey, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Stop. So okay. <laughs> and I'll just get into the airports and I'll be back in the cafe. But you and I can play your favorite game. Cheers. Cheers. Alright. Thank you. Sweetie. Oh. Alright. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 I will. Sure. Come on, let's go. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> So you know those rough bags, mm. like three and a half, so you can just buy them and just stop them, really just nice. chill with them. Oh my mm. god. Just, yeah, <laughs> especially if you chill it, you overdo yourself. <laughs> I can't be. Hi ladies. My husband. How are you? Hi. What's going on? Fine. It's nothing. Mm. Today it's hot. Don't you think we should just go it's see? It's hot? Me? But it's cold in there, you should be out here. <laughs> Why don't we go shopping instead? What do you girls think? I think shopping sounds like fun. Okay, you guys have my boots. 
Shopping it is then. Nice. <laughs> so? Okay, so just Shop. give us two hours, we'll be ready. Okay. Let's finish up. <laughs> okay. Right. Please, say two hours, two hours. Okay. <laughs> so, we could get like a pocket, um, like two, two cartons. You are supposed to be my brother's very good friend, isn't it? Oh, um, yes. We are friends. Very good friend. Very good friend for that one, yeah. So why are you here to backstab him? No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I am not backstabbing him. I just feel I should let you know. He's been going around saying all sorts of things about you, ill things about you. That he's the brain behind the company. He was telling people that I own like 75% share of the company. And I know this is not true. I see. I see. So I just feel I, I, I should let you know. And um, you know he's my only brother. <laughs> no, he's, he's no, not. Like, We're well, still friends. If you consider my brother, my only brother, your enemy. Yeah. That means I am also your enemy. Because my brother's enemy is my enemy. Vice versa. Is that correct? Do you understand that? I do, I know. But I. Shut up. I leave my office now. My good friend, look, it has not come I to that. Leave! It's okay. I didn't make him. Do you want to call this? Oh, it's okay. I, I'll leave. How wicked can people be? So he expects me to listen to him. <laughs> I don't need to tell you much. Your brother and his wife, they are heavenly. They treated me so great, like princess, and I had everything that I wanted. <laughs> I guess as much. You know, I expected that. That's what happened. Yeah, the reason why I got Oni and Junior lots of goodies from the UK. Really? Oh, sure. Where is it? Or where are they? I forgot my brother picked me from the airport. Ah. I dropped them with him. Sure. <laughs> and oh you're a sweetheart. God. What can I say? <laughs> but I'm staying with a lot of people. <laughs> did you get him the laptop? Yes, I did. Okay. Couldn't have forgotten that. You know he's traveling for summer, right? Did you check out the piano lessons? What do you think you're doing? Obila! Isn't it obvious? Obila, please. Please don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. It's all we have. Please. Obila, Obila! Yes, uh, Joe, please, I want you to uh, shoot the meeting I'm supposed to have today. Okay, shoot it to tomorrow. No, cancel it for today. Push it on to tomorrow, okay? I have, I have something very important I'm rushing out to do now. I'm going out right away, okay? All right, then. Bye. Are you okay? Jill, I'm talking to you. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just that I was expecting that you would not come and pick me up. Well, uh, Tadobi now is busy. That's why I had to come and pick you up. Okay? You 
must be foolish to think that you could bribe my brother or poison his mind against me. Ah, ah, is that what he told you? Listen to me. Stay away from my family and my business or you will have yourself to blame. Oh, calm down. Please, it hasn't gotten to that. Echo, my pino. Listen, that's, that, that, that check wasn't a bribe. It's just a way to say, hook me up with the job. That's all. So indirectly, you're calling my brother a liar. Tunde, stand up and get out. Oh, midnight hasn't got into that. Get out of my office! Get out! I'm really not sure about what is happening. I've, I've put water in it, but it's just... I don't know. Yeah, there's water there, but... The current is still here. Okay, you know what, baby? Maybe you should just send over to the mechanic and I'll just... Um... Alright, I love you too. Bye. Hello, darling. <laughs> I'm all right, and you? Oh my God. Where are you? Oh, you know what? Just stay there. I'll be right there, okay? No, I'm coming now. All right. Your mechanic? Yes, I have. I I told my husband I'll just um go home. He'll pick up the key, okay? I'll hop into your car. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. I'm okay, and I'm sure Junior is too. <laughs> How do you mean you're sure Junior is? Baby, have you forgotten today is Friday? And Junior normally leaves for your brother's place on Fridays. Yes, I know, but where's my boy? <laughs> Obina came to pick him up about an hour ago. What nonsense! How can you take my boy without my consent? Baby, it's your brother. Yes, I know! But he should tell me before doing that. At least call me. So come, come, just never, everything that happened to me. Okay, I'm going to 
Yes, bro. How are you? Oh, yes. Everything is okay. Everything. No, we're fine. Ah. Uh, I'm really very sorry. Can I speak with Junior, please? Oh, please. Um, forgive me. I didn't look at the time to know how late it is. But is he okay? Just want to know if he's fine. No, 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 not at all. No, no. It's just that I. I had a bad dream, yeah. Bad dream? Are you serious? Alright. I'll call you in the morning so you can talk with them. Okay, it's alright. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, I'm sorry about. Uh, sorry to have woken me up. Okay. Alright, take care. Who had a bad dream? Who means I had a bad dream about Junior? Why, Melo? Because I don't like boiled eggs. And Tigo serves my food with fried eggs. Yeah, good. And, and who told you that fried eggs are better than boiled eggs? Okay, darling, you know what? Eat this one today. Tomorrow, I'll serve you indomie and fried eggs, okay? No, mommy, I want it now. Melo, come, my friend, will you shut up and eat your food? How can you prefer another woman's food to your mom to your mom's food? Same way you prefer my brother picking up from school than I do. Uh, baby, it's okay. Let me just go and fry eggs for him. Oh well, if you have to do that, you you drop him off as well, because I can't wait. Baby, I'll be snappy. I have a meeting in thirty minutes time. Uh. Hey, 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 eat that food, my friend. That's all for you. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you know what? Mm. Gradually, we will become the richest in this city and possibly the richest in this country. Are you thinking what I am thinking? What are you talking about? One soul living in two bodies. <laughs> Say it down unto thee, son. I want the spirit of hatred to fly out from the pit of hell and stand between my two friends. I want them to detest themselves so much. Almost asked for the impossible. That if you are willing, the great lords of rain will do your wish. I'm willing, my lord. Speak to me. I'm willing. Speak to me. Sure, this is a check Obina brought to this office yesterday. Yes, I'm very sure. Obina must be mad. 
Obina must be very stupid. Now take this check. Take it back to him. And tell him that I said he has 24 hours to complete my money. Else, I will deal ruthlessly with him. Then go. Okay, sir. Baby, please try and understand me. I am not taking sides with Ubin. No. All I am saying is, 10 million naira is too small for you to quarrel with your brother. Please, Kaisuda, just, just, just cut this out, please. Because you're not in position to tell me when to quarrel and when to be at peace with my brother. My own twin brother. Jesus, you know, that's my problem with you. Mr. Know-it-all, because you think you know everything. Nobody can talk to you. Thank you very much. That's your business. God. You know, sometimes I just don't understand you. Are you actually sleeping? What is the meaning of this nonsense? Thank God you're here. Because I've been expecting you. Did you ask your secretary to... Yes, I did. I asked her to return the check. So why would you bring others into our business? Why would you have to send me a secretary when you would have come yourself or even called me? What did you call her? My secretary. I employed her. So I reserved the right to send her anywhere I deem necessary. In that case... You go send her to come here, force my hand to amend the check. Oh really? Is that what you got to say? You heard me. You will hear from me very soon. Very, very soon. Understand, honey. I've never seen Obinze like that in my life. Obinze was not only mad at me, he was irritated. I saw this hate in his eyes. I saw this bitterness that could quench whatever love that existed, that ever existed within us. Now, that's the devil coming into our home. And he's using money. Money to get in between your brother and you. Is it worth it? Money. Exactly. What money? Ten million naira. Ten million naira is not enough to tear us apart. I don't know what he's so eating anymore. Just off. give it to him and let everything be fine. Give him what? Give it to him. And any other thing that he asks for, he has give it to him. It's nothing, right? Look, look, the contract in question was given to my company. I employed his, not because he's the best, but because he's my brother. And that's why I paid him that much. So, so he wants to make more money than myself in my own deal. No. You see what? Honey, you don't have to see it that way. Seriously. You know, look at it like your brother needs some money from you. My brother, I want you to know that nothing can come between us. That's why I'm here. With an extra 10 million naira to the previous figure you requested. From my heart. You 
You know, Bella, you disrespected me. For you to ever think of cheating me, after all the efforts I, I made, I put into making sure that the contract was properly executed. And even when you traveled, when you were gone, out of the country, to the UK, I was on ground to make sure that everything was okay. I know. That's why I'm here with my wife to apologize. My husband. No, 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 come on, sweetie. Come on, come on, sit up, please. Sit up. Get up. You, I don't hold anything against you, okay? I hold everything against my, it's my stubborn brother. But it's all in the past now. It's okay. It's all right. Um, and to prove that I have um, let everything, uh, put everything behind me. I want to underwrite all the expenses for a trip to Cape Town, South Africa. Wow. A vacation, yes. A vacation. Wow. <laughs> and a nice one. All of us. Like, nice um, one. You're saying we're going to spend a month in SA? Yes. All expenses on me. Yes. <laughs> and that includes shopping. Shopping? That sounds really good. <laughs> oh my god! You know, that's why we're brothers. I've always maintained that peace and love between brothers should be supreme. You know, thank you for this gesture. You know. Okay, you have to be gone. Yeah. Alright, Obi. Alright, hello. <laughs> Wow, for the first time you surprised me. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Where's Daddy Obina? They just left. They're supposed to spend the weekend with them. Uh, Junior, now they're gone, okay? Let it be next time, okay? Mm -hmm. Next weekend. Mm -hmm. Junior! <laughs> Maybe he's just with the kids permanently. <laughs> Oh, I saw the way you went. How is my wife? 
Marcos. I hope she's okay. Yeah, all is well. I think uh, we thank God we have succeeded in stabilizing her condition now. She just needed a little rest, coupled with the um, drugs I'm giving to her. I assure you she can, she will be okay. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. Um, Obins, I'm, I'm very sorry. Please! Please, please, save me those apologies. Thank you very much. My brother, please. Just hear Open me now. Please. please. Please try and hear me out. Please. Please. Save me all that explanation. Please, I beg of you. Look. Pray. Pray hard. You haven't said anything all evening. What is there to say to the world that I am responsible for the death of my father's only grandchild? Or that Junior is lying out there in the mortuary? The only child that called me that. Out of my own carelessness, I just stay to <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. Or that I have rendered my own brother and his wife childless like myself. God wake me up from this terrible nightmare. <laughs> I'm going to pour you a full bucket of old diluted acid and send you to where you sent my son to. You. You even have the guts, the temerity to walk into my house pretending to condole me when I say my of that. You killed my boy. Out of your sheer wickedness. Oh, Hi, God! How could you ever concede such a thought in your heart? Why will I kill my own son? I should be the one asking you that question. Why you should kill my son? I should be the one asking you that question, Obila! Obila, tell me. Was it because of the 10 million that I had still? To add to the job I did diligently for you that made you kill my son. Obina, please take the money, keep it, but give me back my son. Return my son back to me. Oh my God! <laughs> What's going on here? House? What are you in my house? Get out of my house. Get out of my house! 
house and I don't want to ever see you here again. Get out! No, no, get, get, get out! Stop it! Please, just stop it! Get out! Stop it! Crazy. Stop it! What has come over you? Leave! I'm not Calm down as in relax. Yes, when my only brother, my flesh and blood, treats me as an enemy. I understand how you feel. I do. But please listen to me and calm down. We can walk through this together. Please, just calm down. Let's figure a way to erase the thought of making you an enemy from your brother's head first. It's very important. But then we have to do it with a clear head. And the camera. Look, you actually know that he's hurting, do you? Yes? Yeah? Officers? Yes, sir. Mm. Mm. What can I do for you? Mm. Sir? Our DPO sent us to invite you to explain your involvement in the death of one Master Obinze Jr. How oh, has it come to this? Okay, I'll go with you. Uh, uh, please, let me inform my wife. No problem, sir. You're free. No problem. this? I mean, seriously, what, what, what's happening? How can you arrest your only brother and charge him for murder? Because he's a murderer. How can you even say that? But well, you know that was a mistake. But what? Wait, what is going on? Oh yeah, as I'm speaking to you right now, my husband is in the police station. Your husband got him arrested and and they charged him for murder. Because he's a because murderer. Because he wasn't jealous, he wasn't... He's this. a murderer. God! Baby, is it true? Baby, I am asking you, is it true? Jesus. Jesus! I, I can't believe this. Believe what? You actually got him arrested? But what is wrong with that? It's not fair! He's a murderer. No! He is. It was a mistake. He is a murderer. He loved the boy. Brothers and boys. Prince Obina, keeping quiet and insisting on seeing your brother will not help us. Because he's the one that reported this case to us. In that case, let me see the DPO. Because I have to speak with my lawyers. No problem with that. Okay. Mr. Bina, calm down. Calm down? How can I? Deep you. How can I calm down? I'm being accused of murdering my own son. I don't know how painful this is. It's an accident. Honestly, this was an accident. I understand. Okay? Don't worry. I'll send a message across to your brother. So that he can come over, he will come over here. So that we can sort issues out. Okay? of you that I hate so much. You're so strong-headed and hearted. Nothing else from anybody matters to you except your opinion and I hate it. I hate it. Simple. Baby, please. 
let sleeping dogs lie. Free your brother from this, this, this hatred that is about to consume you both. Else, you will lose not only your son, but your brother as well. Who cares? Oh, you will. You will care when the time comes. Trust me. Now listen to me. I've had enough of this young gospel. Enough of it. If this continues, I might leave this house for you. Okay? So let me be. I can't even recognize you anymore. How did you change so much? I went to your brother's place. I talked to him. He's just bitter. I hope you understand why. You shouldn't be laughing at him. Okay? All you feel is all my pains, though. And she's really sorry. Okay. Bottom line is, I'm not going anywhere tonight. I'm gonna be here. You have to come. No. You know, investigation takes, you know, some time. I, I'm gonna see the assistant officers, you know, so I'll be fine. I'm not going anywhere. Please, then. You have to come. No. I don't have to go. I can stay here. Somebody has to take care of the home. What is a home? It's not a child. It's Madam, are you here on your own accord or you are sent by your husband? I came on my own. Because my husband is so grieved right now. So grieved that he has allowed this pain to control him. The man in your custody is not a stranger. He is my husband's only brother. And whatever happened to my son was an accident. Well, madam, your husband's statement was different from what I've just said. I know. That is because he is grieved. But let us face the fact. Nobody feels the loss of a child like the mother. I am grieved. I am heartbroken. I feel like my world has come to an end. But that is not enough reason to accuse an innocent man just like that. Okay. Mr. Binzi, your wife's statement is different from what you said. My wife was here like an hour ago. And she made a statement that contradicted what I told you? Of course. Mr. D.P., let me ask you, what right does my wife have to intervene in the matter I am the complainant? Huh? Well, Mr. Obize, I suggest as a police officer that it's that time that you sit down and iron now this things with your brother. Choose my brother over me. It's okay. That's no problem. I can handle all of you. But first, I will start with him. By the time I finish crushing him, I will get your betrayal. 
idiot. Now get out. Out! Get out, I say! Can you imagine? Will you come back here? Come back here! I said, come here! Take this briefcase upstairs. Take it upstairs, you idiot! What a what nonsense! Your brother doesn't seem as though he wants to make peace. What's the way forward? It's okay. Don't worry. I have a plan. Which is? I'll visit him tomorrow. You think that's a good idea? I mean, considering what happened the last time you went to his house. He jumped at you, honey. What if he does it again? And there's nobody there to help you out. What happened? I remember that incident very well. But you see, we are human. I believe by now his anger would have subsided. I'm not going there to claim rights. I'm going there to make peace. I'll talk to him very softly. You sure? Very. I miss him. I miss him too. It was very unfortunate. He was like my son. in my office. We need to talk. I have nothing to say to a man who murdered my son. Calm down, my brother. I am not your brother. And don't you ever call me your brother again. As far as I'm concerned, you are my enemy. Don't say that. Obinze, don't allow the devil to come between us. Oh. So you killed my son and turn around to blame it on the devil. Huh? Hey, hey, now you listen up. I don't want to see this man ever again in my office. Now you shut up and listen to me. Are you deaf? I said I do not want to see this man ever again in my office. If I do, then you need to look for a job elsewhere. Am I clear on that? Am I clear on that? Get out of my office. This is madness. Obinze, what's wrong with you? Why can't you just come down and reason? How can I kill a boy that was my son? Are you shouting at me? Are you shouting at me? And I will shout even some more. If that's what it takes, you calm you down from this madness. First you call me unreasonable. Second you call me mad. Now get out of my office. ever try this again or be compelled to retaliate. Why don't you go ahead and retaliate? Go ahead and retaliate! Modra! Get out of my office! Get out! Modra! When your wives reported this madness to me, I thought they were trying to cook up some stories. But now that I've seen both of you, I perfectly understand what they meant when they say that my sons have gone from being best of friends to worst of enemies. Obinla. Obinza. What is wrong? What is happening? 
father. My brother here said that I killed his son intentionally out of jealousy just to render him childless like myself. That is not true. What means that is not true? What being now your brother loves you as much as he loves that, 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 that little boy? No, father. That's your own opinion. Yes. As far as I'm concerned, he killed my son. And he killed my son deliberately. That's why. You are insane. And you are stupid. Will you stop that? Stop stop that. Stop that. Watch And sit down. I said sit down. Sit down. Sit down. No, I want to tell you, young man, that you cannot bring shame and disgrace upon my name. You cannot bring that shame on my name. I want this hatred between two of you to stop right now. Have I made myself clear? Congratulations, Mr. Obina. Your wife is three weeks pregnant. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I am not. Yeah, here is the result carried out on her. It's, it's true. God, 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 thank you. Thank you. This must be from you. It can only be you. Oh, I'm going to be a father. Oh, oh doctor, thank you. You're thank you. Oh. Going to be a father. Oh God, 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 God. Oh. Hey, babe. Yeah, I'm okay. No problem. <laughs> hey, what is it? <laughs> oh my God. Are you serious? Oh my God, you're serious. Oh, God is faithful. I'm so happy for you. What? No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Where are you? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be there first thing in the morning. Jesus, I'm... <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Take care of yourself, you hear? <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Baby, you won't believe this. What is it? Ego is pregnant. Baby, I said Ego is pregnant. What business of mine is it? Uh uh, baby, that is not fair. You know how Ego longs for this child? We prayed with her. And now God has answered our prayers. You should be happy. We should celebrate. Listen to me. Oye, okay. spare me all that gospel. Spare me all that gospel. He killed my son and now his wife is pregnant and I hear she's expecting a son. So when she finally puts to bed, their son will take over the throne. Smart guy, very smart guy. Yes, come in. What do you want? Nothing other than to let you know that your brother killed your son on purpose. Why? You may ask. It's simple. His wife is pregnant with her son. And he fears you have an older son to inherit your father's throne. 
How did you get all this information? I am spiritual to the core. It was revealed to me how she told us band that she is pregnant with a son and how they plan to come pay you a visit to return some of the money he's been avoiding to pay you. Well, I, I, if you want me to tell you more, why not join me for lunch so we can go talk? I'll tell you at length. We'll talk at length. Brothers at asked questions as though you do not know their answers. Tell me, would you be man enough to avenge your son's death if I told you that your brother killed your son as a result of envy? Wise one, I will. Then give your consent and I will make him suffer the same fate as you did. You have my consent, wise one. With all my heart, my soul, and my body. the way you're spoiling me. I think I'm gonna need your help to push this baby out when it's time for <laughs> delivery. <laughs> I'm eating too much. It's just one month and your mugu has said already. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> because I much. intend to continue until you give birth and maybe even after you give birth. But trust me, these fruits mm. are very good for you and the baby. What is it? Nothing. Mm. <laughs> it's too funny. I hope it's not serious. No. Ah. This is... What is wrong with you? Uh. Are you okay? What? What's wrong? Do you want fine. to lie? Maybe no. you should just lie down, okay? No, I'll be fine. Are you sure? Oh, God. Uh-uh, uh-uh. This is serious. Oh my god, just stand up. Ah, maybe I should take you to the hospital. Uh, Get ah, just stand up. Jesus Christ, what is it? Is it my husband? What happened? What happened? Where is she? I don't know what happened. We were gisting. All of a sudden, she started screaming. I tried to help, but she was already bleeding, so I had to bring her here. God, what's the meaning of this? Oh, can I see? Doctor, how is my wife? I'm sorry. She lost the pregnancy. Hey! Jesus! Hey. Jesus! Baby, you are wicked. You are heartless. In fact, you, you, you are a monster. That is what you are. Thank you. Jesus, yes, you have a problem with your brother, agreed. But is that 
that enough reason for you to mock him at a time like this? Ha! God is watching you, ho! It's not good, God is watching you! Listen, okay, catch you. What do you expect from me? Huh? Fall down? Or sob? Over a misfortune that I sincerely from the bottom of my belly wished him? Is that what you want me to do? Hey! You're wicked! You're heartless! I hate you! I hate you so much! Thank you. But can I have my food, please? Didn't you hear me? I said I hate you! Oye Kachi, please let me have my food. Sorry, Tunde, but my brother would do no such thing. He may be bitter with me for now, understandably though. But he's my brother. Blood is thicker than water, so he still loves me. Keep dreaming then, because your brother told me in confidence that he's going to wreck you. And he will make sure you pay dearly for his son's death. Obina. Your brother is responsible for your wife's miscarriage. How did you know that my wife lost her pregnancy? Your evil brother told me everything about it. And his plan on how to ruin you. Could just be a coincidence. What's coincidental about this? That my brother's friend that doesn't know anything about my family came to my office to tell me that my brother was responsible for the death of my unborn child. As I was still arguing about that, a text came to my phone by that same brother of mine telling me that it was just the beginning. Can't you see that Robin is now a demon? Why can't you just see that? He's only trying to use our predicament to hurt us. For God's sake, he's your brother. How can he kill my own child? Hold on. Yes, Matthew. Why are you calling me this late? I didn't go what? 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 What is it? What have I done to this demon of peace called Obinze? What is it? Obinze sent thugs to burn down my way house. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Are you, are you sure? Are you sure? Pastor, I understand. And I believe in God so much. Oh, it's been five years since I had my miscarriage. And since then, I have not even conceived once. It's beginning to worry me. I know all that, my dear. But believe me, God is in control. Amen. And He knows all your problems, what you have been going through for the last five years. Don't worry. Very soon, your sorrows will become joy. Just believe. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father. If anyone had told me that a day like this will come in my relationship with my brother, I probably would have called that person a freaking liar. That is life for you. Your best friend today might turn out to be your enemy next. But what would Obin's again if he succeeds in destroying my business? Power and authority. He will gain your loyalty. Like you begin to lick his legs. Which is the prayer of every wicked man like him. Your brother is evil.
You're not going to work. What am I going to do? When who been there? The demagogue has crippled my business. I just have to sit down, think, think of how to reorganize my business. seems very adamant about making peace. Mine as well. But I suggest we just keep on talking to them. You know, something them. Let's just stay on this together. One day I know we will come out of it victorious. Sure. I, I just went to have a chat with Ego. Let this be the first and last time you will ever engage in a chat like that with her again. Hmm? Baby, don't you think this is getting out of hand? You're taking it too far. See. Don't you touch me. God. Baby, please, just settle with your brother, that's all. This is, this is getting too much. Please. I've just given you my position. Never again. Am I clear on that? Am I clear on that? Yes, sir. name of whatever you hold dear. Leave my brother and his wife alone. Please, 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 leave all me alone. I'm saying this for your own good though. Let us even know where our problems are coming from. Please, I know it might be difficult for you, but please do this for me, for us, okay? Please. Jesus Christ, why are you following me around the whole place? Eh? Why are you following me around the whole place all in the name of uh, uh, bodyguard? What kind of policing is this? Are you a ghost? Eh? Are you a ghost? What is all this? Why would a full grown man like you choose to be very useless to himself? Ah! Uh -uh. Jesus! Oh. <laughs> oh, you're forming deaf and dumb for me. Huh? Hey, you are forming deaf and dumb. Why am I not surprised? Why? Eh? 
Why won't the devil punish you with deafness when you have decided to invade other people's privacy? All in the name of being a stupid bodyguard. Ugly one for that matter. See, I'm tired of seeing your ugly black face. Do you hear me? Idiot. Anyway, I'm going to my room to sleep. If you like, follow me there. Watch me while I'm sleeping. Hmm? Because you are now a, 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 a guardian angel. Idiot. All day. Bolly, Bolly. Please, could you just open the car so I can go out? I'm sorry, ma'am. I had a straight order by my boss not to allow you go out. Not to allow me go out and not to allow me go out alone. I don't allow you go out. Get my things out of the car. Okay. Let me say congratulations to both of you. Your wife is pregnant. I'm going to have a baby. <laughs> I'm going to have a baby. I'm going to have a baby. <laughs> Baby, now that I'm pregnant again, don't you think you and your brother should settle your problems? I don't think you know what you're talking about. Baby, I know what I'm talking about. And I know you know what I'm talking about. Baby, all I am saying is... All you're saying? What? That we should forget the pain my brother put us through? Both of us? By killing my innocent boy just because he doesn't have one? Sweetheart, listen. That guy is an enemy. I should be kept at an arm's length. In fact, you should be kept kilometers away from this family, this household. Or do you do you want to lose this one? Tell me. Sweetheart, can't you understand what I'm talking about? All I want is for things to go back the way it used to be. Baby, it was beautiful. I just want us to live in peace and love, that's all. I may understand how you feel. I understand that. Sweetheart, please. I'm here for you. Okay? I'm going to take care of you and our own poor child. Please. My brother is evil. He's evil. We shouldn't have anything to do with him. Are you a weakling? Why do you want to make peace with a murderer? Why? Better stay away from him. To the whole world. This guy is my lord. He's my twin brother. My brother. Oh no, he's not. He's not your brother. It's evil. It's evil. I'm spiritual. I know them when I see them. Stay away from him. Just stay away from him. It's evil. Hey, sweetheart. Hi. How's everybody at home? Oh, I'm, I'm good. I'm excellent. Sure. Yeah. Are you serious? The sauce? Wow. Look on you. I know that we're doing the right thing, okay? Well, let's be careful. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, I love you too. I must have to see you tomorrow, okay? Meet at the salon. Bye. 
thought we had an understanding. Yes, I miss my son. I miss my son so much. It was an accident. It was an accident, I know it. Because my brother-in-law would never ever hurt my son. He, he loved him more than I can explain. We need the love, the mercy, and the grace of God to come into our homes and overwhelm us. Our husbands are the verge of killing themselves by themselves. My God will not let that happen. Amen. Amen. Don't worry, daughters of God. The Lord will surely have his way. Amen. Um, Pastor. We were also wondering if you could come over to the house and talk to our husbands. Man to man, as a pastor, because they are losing it, especially my husband. Please. That's all right, my dear. I will come over and talk to them, and I will pray over it. That's absurd. I mean, why should I fortify myself when I have concluded that not in this life again will I get one inch close to my brother again? You don't understand the gravity of what is going on. You don't. I am telling you your brother does not mean well for you at all. He does not. All I'm saying is that you should protect yourself. Hold your side. That's all I'm saying. Tunde, I know how sour things have gone between my brother and I, but in God I trust and I still maintain I don't need any further spiritual fortification. Be the man that you are, but know that you can fight and keep safe with empty hands. You can't. Your brother is evil. So that is why I'm here. You're welcome. You see, Brother Obinna, I want you to know that your brother is only but human. And humans are quick to anger and rebukes. I'm grateful that you're here, man of God. Thank you. I understand perfectly what you mean. And that's why I'm willing to make peace with my brother anywhere he so desires. But don't you think you should visit him one more time? That is, if the man in question wants to see me with his eyes. A lot has happened between us. He has done so many despicable things against me, all in the name of avenging his son's death. Oh God, going over to see him in his house isn't a good idea at all. Alright then, I will need to see him too. I need to let him know that God can mend all things. Yes. And replace all he has lost. If only he's willing to make peace. Yes, that would be great. That would be great. Now you listen to me, you prophet of doom. I don't care who sent you here. Whether it was Odina or his wife, I don't care. If you don't leave my house this minute, I'll be forced to vest my anger on you. Am I clear on that? So now leave my house! I can't believe you're insulting a man of God because he cared enough to want to settle the problem between you and your brother. Will you shut up? Will you shut up your mouth? If you and your so-called pastor 
think I'm kidding. Wait. No problem. Just wait for me. Well, by the way, she didn't offer you something to drink. I'm sure what I will do, innit? Just, just wait. Move your legs, Wendy. Move your legs. I tell you what, my dear. I'm so sorry. This is not a time to cry. But the time to stand firm and pray for the Lord to change the heart of your husband, which has been replaced with stone. So don't cry. I have to leave. Brothers and I'm very sure our babies will be so happy having us this close. I know, right? I just wish that the birth of this baby is actually bringing resolution in our family. Mm. I mean, these men have been bitter for so long. They need to just grow up and forgive themselves already. Honestly, you know, I miss the way we used to be, the joy, the laughter, the Thank love. I wish we were one big, happen. happy family. I can't lie against my twin brother. All you need to do is to do your finance relating to the 200 million Naira contract awarded to him by the past governor, which he did not execute because of the demise of the governor. When exactly did this happen? About three years ago. Oh, my friend, and you are just coming to lady complain now? That's because I didn't have the information. I just got this information from a patriotic Nigerian. And upon investigation, I discovered that it was true. And so I brought the information to your office immediately for thorough investigation. Because I cannot allow my family's name to be dragged to the mud. All right, Mr. Albina. Thank you very much for giving us this information. Thank you. The EFCC shall thoroughly investigate this matter and we shall give you the reward if we find your information useful. Um, officer, in all honesty, the best reward you will give to me is to ensure that the borehole that was promised the poor masses of this country that have suffered so much is given to them. They have to drink from the water from the borehole. Please, and that will be my reward, and I'm happy about it. What are you trying to tell me? Huh? Oi! That my boys are blind? That they cannot recognize you when they see you? That is their business. All I am saying is, I didn't go to any eatery and I did not see Ego today. You better be. Because I will not take it lightly with you, dining and whining with my enemies. I won't. I, I, am I clear on that? Am I clear? Well, daughters of God, that is a very strong approach to the matter on ground. But it might even lead to disaster if you don't plan your way with God. Therefore, I advise that we embark on three days fasting and prayer. Asking God to lead the way. Hmm? You've not seen anything yet. I'll make sure I send you back to the street begging. 
Look, I will not only dig into all your shady business deals, but I'm going to dig into every part of your existence. When you said it, I didn't take you seriously. You said Obina, my brother, was evil. That guy is evil. Do you know what he did? Do you know Obina dug into all my past business transactions? Gathered all the documents and took them to the EFC's boss. What? My dear. Now, these guys investigated into every business transaction I had in the past. And then came up with something. And they asked me to repay him the sum of 200 million naira. 200 million naira? 200 million naira. The whole contract, you know, during the, the, the study of the old governor, that was paid to me that I should be paid back to him. Give pay back to Obina. My brother, where am I going to vomit the money from? It is not as if the money is not there. To reform, but then by the time I pull out 200 million, my dear, you know, money you're used to, the kind of life you, it will certainly affect me. You are sounding as if you don't know your brother. It's a terror. So, so, so where, 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 what do we do? Where do we stand for? Let's see, let's see what we do to seal him up permanently. Oh, it's okay. Ah. Are you sure everything is fixed? Yes. The Ketra called this evening to say he is good to go. And the decoration person? Settled. You see, all we need is wake up in the morning, go for service, come back and make merry, that's all. It's so good to know. <laughs> um, what time did they finally fix the service? 10 a.m. in the morning. Oh, that's still early. I think we should go to bed so we can wake up early enough. I hear the baby crying. Let me quickly go check. Silly, that's why Mama is in his room. Have you forgotten? Oh, you know, I almost forgot that Mama is here. Well, it's okay. I just hope the baby is fine. So let's go to bed. Do we still have a deal on his names? Oh yeah, we still do. Okay. Um, of course, it's Chimeze Obinze Junior. <laughs> that is it. Thank you. Thank you. 
I'm Sirat. Honey. Yeah, we're late for the Thanksgiving, huh? Okay. Get the baby prepared. So let's go. Picking him up from school, you know. Who is this friend of his that he's so fond of? His name is Mizie. I've had the opportunity of meeting him several times, and he's a brilliant kid. Honey, you would just be amazed the way that he looks like my son. They're like twins. I mean, in everything. Twins? Yeah. How? I mean, they have the same report cards. They they bear the same name. They have the same scores and the same team. It's a lot of things. You know, that reminds me of uh, my classmate in those days. I think during our SS3, uh, where he died. No, honey. Talking about that. Sorry about that, okay? Uh, baby. Eh. I think it's high time we told them because I don't think it's fair for them to think they are friends when they are brothers. I know. But sometimes I just think that if we deviate from the real plan, something bad is just going to happen. 
Be careful, be careful. I think you're right. Let's stick to the plan. I know that hiding behind our husbands to have this secret family, it's, it's not the best thing there. One day. <laughs> so, who wants um, anything to eat? Yes. Ice cream? No. Cake? <laughs> no! Hmm. <laughs> Donuts? Yes. yes. Meat pie. <laughs> yeah. That's my boy. Give me a wow. So tell me, uh, Mizzy, how do you want to spend your fifth birthday? I want to spend my fifth birthday with Dozier. And who is Dozier? He's my classmate, my best friend. Yes. My namesake and my birthday mate. Really? I mean, this guy is your, is your, is your classmate, your best friend, your, your namesake, and your birthday mate. That means this guy was very, 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 very important in your life, huh? Yes. Really, good boy. Okay. Where do you want Daddy to take you and this your best friend, classmate, namesake, birthday mate? Where do you want me to take you to? Daddy, I want you to take me and my brother to amusement park. Amusement park? Thank you, you got it, boy. Daddy will take you to the amusement park. <laughs> now, give me, give me, give me. Smiles. That's for happy birthday in advance, okay? So, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to take you and this your best friend to an amusement park, okay? Good boy. Hmm? Wow. Why are you Lily Liver? Today, this is not a matter of being Lily Liver. You see, you don't understand what I'm saying. Alright? Obina has become invisible. Invisible that chasing after him is like chasing after shadows. Do you know what? Something tells me he's under some form of protection. Oh, forget him. Nothing. What kind of protection? What kind of protection? Is stronger than able altar. Today you might not understand where I'm coming from, okay? But I know what I am saying. I, just trust me. This is Tunde. Trust Tunde for now. Okay. It's lunch time. Do you care? Oh yeah, I'm starving. What? Really starving. Let me just. Uh, um. the meaning of this nonsense. Oh. I got you. What is this supposed to be? 
Is this some kind of joke or something? It's not a joke. I love my brother Agazi. Now come on, Gino. Let's leave this place. Come on. I'm not going. Would you shut up? I said, come on, let's leave you. No. Aren't you tired of this enmity that grows in your heart for each other? For God's sake, you are brothers. You should snap out of this for your, for your son's sake. Ego. If you were observant, you would have noticed that I kept quiet for the past 10 minutes. And it's because I don't want to say something silly to you out of anger. Now do me a favor. By shutting up, get a boy and let's get out of here before they count of five. Oh, Egaji, you know I'm a very busy man. So get this boy and meet him up in the car. Daddy, if you leave, I'll go with Dozier. Me too. What's the meaning of this madness? This means that if the both of you are very okay with yourself staying apart, only an eye on the contrary, we are not. And we're going to do something about it. We are going to pack up our sons, we're going to take them to the UK, and we're going to leave their buy house, bring them up as brothers, and you would never get to see them again. And that's a promise. Oyekachi, is this the love you profess? Is this the love you confess? That a man kills my son, alright? And I tag him my enemy and you dump me for him? A man killed your son? Yes. But it was a mistake. This same man has been apologizing to you, not minding the fact that you've been trying so hard to scare him away. This same man is just not anybody. He is your brother, your twin brother. The same soul living in another body. Your flesh, stop. your blood. Stop! Just stop! I'm sorry, okay? You know, I've not been able to get over the death of our son. It was a tragic mistake. Honestly, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Please. It's okay. Look. Brothers and Let's come together and be happy like we were before Brothers and war What are we fighting each other for? Brothers and war
Come take care.